Today I'm going to show you how to concentrate syrups and juices to reduce the water content. This is known as freeze distillation. So stick around if you want to see how I ended up doing this. So I prepped half of what I had picked in this last season and there was a lot. This is about a little over halfway filled, maybe 60% or so, and this is a really, really large pot for brewing. It's got to be at least 10 gallons. And these are all the seeds that I pulled out as I was going. And the reason that there were all these seeds is because these are seeds I cut through. And I didn't want to expose all of the arsenic and cyanide and such that are in the seeds uh, to the boiling process. It's not ideal that there's going to be so much pectin in here, but I may end up using this for multiple things. Probably, at the least, it will just be syrup, but it might also be some types of candies or some baking or something like that. So, I'm going to add a little bit of water to this and I'm going to start boiling it and stirring it. And uh, then what I'll be doing is filtering everything so that it's just down to liquid. This has been boiling for a little while. And it's... Uh, all mushy, so I'm going to use a potato masher on it. Okay, so this is still pretty hot, but I used the potato masher on it and it's been sitting for a few hours now. And uh, I think that'll actually be a little bit easier to deal with while it is this hot. Uh, it looks kind of like nasty applesauce, which is pretty much what it is. So I was going to try using these uh, mesh strainers and then I remembered that they don't work very well so I have this nylon netting from brewing and uh, I'll just put the juice in there and then dump the solids in there You can see the uh, nylon mesh, it's all balled up because I basically worked it with both hands from top to bottom over and over until you can see it's not even really dripping now. So most of the liquid is extracted now. Looks like I extracted roughly two and a half, three gallons, something like that. You can see that color. It's uh, quite opaque. It's actually already more syrupy than I would have expected, but some of that could be from the pectin. And like I said, the pectin tends to kind of coagulate and flow to the top when boiled. So the next step, though, is going to be pouring this into... Normally I use two liter bottles, but I probably am running a bit low on those. So I may end up using some uh, like gallon plastic bags or something. Well, this has another advantage. I can uh, just use this spigot to fill up this bag about halfway. So this is just some of the residual. You can see some foam and such. Tastes uh, very tart, um, acidic. It's basically the essential oils from those fruits. If there's one thing tiny fruits that have had harsh environments are good for, it's all of those essential oils. Uh, so as you can see here, a lot of the liquid has come out of the water and uh, what's left are a lot of ice crystals. So what I'm going to do is snip this edge here and pour the syrup in there. So I'm going to let this go on for probably a half hour or so, and hopefully most of the stuff up here will get all the way down to that corner. So this is after about an hour, and uh, I feel like it probably needs another hour. So here you can see from this uh, maybe two gallons or so, this is the amount of syrup that came out of it. I don't know if I can convey it in the video, but it's definitely thicker than just, say, water. And uh, you can see here a lot of white-looking snowish stuff. That's all of the water that's been left in it as the syrup is dripping out. And so basically, depending on the purity you want, you would go through multiple rounds of freezing and thawing. This is pretty impressive. Pretty much all the syrup out of there, just water left. 
and some pulp on this side. So uh, a lot was extracted from this. It makes me think I probably could have extracted more from the other one, but this is fine, this is plenty. Here I have my two bags of extract. Eh, probably about one and a half gallons from three, something like that. So I could put this in the freezer and do yet another freeze distillation. I don't need it that concentrated, so I would, I would say this is sufficient. If I was to freeze distill it one more time, I could use it for making uh, maybe some kind of flavored taffy-like candy. I'll probably try to do a fermented beverage with this. I could brew beer with it. If you uh, found that helpful or interesting, please like and subscribe. I appreciate it. Thanks.